From Calbo and Lakewood here for the title matches of today's JVT event. Hunter May is on a bit of a tear right now, looking for the 12th title of his JVT career, going up against a tough one, knowing five-time champ Elias O'Halloran. At least he's already spared in the first. Hunter shot 520 for his two games in the sprint semifinals to get here. Sleeping over everybody with a 268 finish his last game of match play. He looked pretty locked in during practice and looks pretty locked in in that first frame. Hunter can play straight down the boards or for just a little bit of a hook outside with that purple hammer. It's uh, his A-plus game. He gets really tough to beat when his look develops and his confidence is there. So we might be in for a score fest here as Elias looked pretty good in his semifinal win at 236 over Sebastian Huffman. Sebastian and then uh well, we're gonna beat Guy Oligani in round one. Sebastian lost to Daniel Hong in the U17 title match. When Hunter is on his game, I would not like to be a bowling pin. <laughs> Pretty devastating strike ball as Hayden Wagner over to the left in this handicap semifinal strikes in the eighth frame. They're a little bit behind because Ethan Santos, is, who's his opponent, his thumb exploded right at the start of the handicap finals, so they lost a little bit of time, which will catch up. And O'Halloran splashes that rack for his first title match strike. Hayden's first finals of the season, so he'll be in this SoCal invite. A little over, up, a little less than a month away, actually. That was his only his second strike of this match. He's got to beat. I'm sorry, Ethan has to beat him by seven. Now, Hollering caught all of that one. That came roaring back for a double to tie up the match. Now, Wagner misses again in the ninth. Nine out, eight out, the last eight won the last two times on that lane. Gives him 132. Yeah, he's behind by a bit here. Trouble. You're gassed again? <laughs> he was gassed after five games last month. Now this is game eight, so I guess he's got an excuse this time. The gas lasted a little longer. I don't know, this, this whole thumb thing might be a whole uh, act on this guy's part. We're going to have to investigate here. Oh. Uh, this old guy, my thumb hurts, my thumb hurts. Well, don't win the match then. Now he's won two matches in a row. His thumb's going to hurt even more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hunter got that ball of quite a few more boards left, and it peeled off that spot for three in a row. That's a great sign for Mays. Not so great a sign for Elias, who gives me the stare down after that. They both got some room to play. We could see a pretty high-scoring match here. Oh, it's on Broadway, so it's sort of a middle road shot. Scores representative of that. Cuts were just barely minus in both divisions. Just no chance there. My goodness gracious. Fun to watch both these guys when they're on. Yes, for Junior. Very much yes for a sh you betcha. <laughs> Santos has a chance of a 200 scratch here. If he makes that spare, that's exactly what he'll bowl. Oh! Couldn't roll the two there. Girl scratch match also over. Caitlin Abagania beat Avery Domagain in a uh, good battle, which featured Caitlin leaving the solid three. Right in the one three pocket, and the three spun around about ten times and ended in the ten pin spot. Well, it'll be a 198 for Santos. That's plenty to advance to the title match. For Hayden, the handicap, it does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden's dad immediately caught the Simpsons reference I played earlier and we had to explain it to him. Good turnout thanks to Leonard and the whole crew here at Cal for hosting us. Just reopened recently. 68 lanes so we got room to spread out and go, which we did. It's 
one something in the afternoon right now and we're just about done. There it was. Aiden also played 25 today but got 26, so he's ready for next season. Know how to win the 100 bucks then. Aiden's dad said Jesper Jr. very much so. You got that tall, lanky guy who loves to fire urethane right up the corner. Very similar. Slam. Well, Hunter and his brother have been terrorizing the whole tour for about a month now. They've both been on rolls. Hunter won way out in uh, Lubbock, Texas about a month ago. Shot his first JBT 300, believe it or not. And then uh, last week in Vegas, his brother Chris won, while Hunter shot 800 in the semifinals. So they have been putting up the numbers for sure. 232 to 191, the final over there. It'll be Santos versus Simmons for the handicap title. Right now it's amazing. In the sixth, perfect so far. Oh yeah. If anything, that one shot that he got a little wider loosened up the arm swing at him even more and just six beautiful shots. Chase, come on over to five and six when you're ready. You get to roll the ball twice on each lane. Go for it when you're ready. Holleran can't worry about his opponent. He's still got room for a big one for himself. And let him know he's still in the building, as he certainly was. He's in the two teens, getting the 220s with the strike here in the seventh. He can still max for 259, which will force Hunter to continue to strike if that's the case. So as dominant as Mays looks, this game's still far from over. Quiet, you. <laughs> 49, 40, max out. Yeah. Looks just as good to me. Pretty shots from OH. The handicap difference is going to be 11. Chase is going to have to win the eight. Sorry. Santos is going to have to win by 11 over there. Halfway to a title match 300. Six dead perfect shots. One ball that was left that ended up dead perfect. Can't do much better than that. There have been seven or eight perfect 300s in our title matches. Mostly ASU team bowlers, but they have a few others. Cortez and Matt Jones sprinkled in between are these ones. By the way, here's my favorite sign of all time. You can rent a locker here for 0.58 cents. Not 58 cents, 0.58 cents. I want to give them a $5 bill and say I'm good for life. Oh! That's right. He liked that one off his end. Crept up just a pinch shot, a solid six. Good shot. Do anything silly on the spare and uh, force Elias to continue his string to stay in the match.
here is 11. Ethan has to be chased by 11 to tie, 12 to win. So Halloran holds up his end of the bargain with a real nice double in the eighth and ninth. Hunter holds the count with that strike in the ninth, and that's extremely important because now Mays spare strikes for 259. Elise still has room for 269, as I was corrected. So Hunter still needs to double in the tenth to seal this thing. Oh my, oh so close to a devastating 6-8. The eight falls late, so now the best he can do is 259. And the, the fill ball will be vitally important here to force Elise to get that second shot in his step. Santos and Simmons just getting started. We'll come back to them in a little minute here. Right now, high drama on Saturday afternoon. No problem at the six. A strike here forces Elias to double. A nine here, and Elias would strike nine spare for a tie. So a real important fill ball. Great pop of the scoreboard. There's Hunter's front seven, of course. And Elias hung in there wonderfully. Two real, real tough bowlers. Takes the tie out of possibility here. It's going to be win or lose on the right paw. The talented youngster here. Anything less than a double, Mays wins. Whew. Fearless. How impressive. Now, these guys for youngsters are are cagey veterans when they're on the bowling lanes. They got a ton of experience. Elias has bowled on TV two or three times. Well, our tour, chat, SYCs, anything else they can get their hands on. They got a boatload of experience at their age, and this is for the win. Certainly wider. Oh! It did, he got it wider, it wheeled back. Somehow the seven stands up. And it is going to be 259 to 258. Oh my goodness gracious. What a heck of a title match between two excellent bowlers. My goodness gracious. Wow. <laughs> There's the damage, 259, 258, what can you say? Well, Hunter had two nine counts, Elise had three. If you want to look at that as the difference, go for it. Who knows? An awful lot of talent. Great stuff out of both of them. Hopefully we'll have as exciting a finish over and handicap between Ethan and Chase. Watch the uh, second part of our videos for that.